And check out this cute video that the OKC Zoo just posted. Okay, you have to see this. This is Finn. We're about to show, oh my goodness, take a look at him. He's a <laughs> resident of the Oklahoma City Zoo. And this week, the zoo's ape caretaker took over their Instagram. And we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close up there. Kind of looks like you when you take a picture. Uh, it kind of does, actually, <laughs> yeah. Very close to the camera. I'm here this morning because I want to apologize not only to my co-anchor Jason but to our entire community. I said something yesterday that was inconsiderate, it was inappropriate, and I hurt people. And I want you to know I understand how much I hurt you out there and how much I hurt you. I love you so much and you have been one of my best friends for the past year and a half and I would never do anything on purpose to hurt you and I love our community and I want you all to know from the bottom of my heart I apologize for what I said I know it was wrong and I am so sorry well Alex thank you very much and, and I, I do accept your apology and I, I do appreciate your apology um, I want to let everybody out there know that Alex um, is one of my best friends. I mean, we do what we do here and, and, you know, it's not as if we see each other here and then we leave and we go home. We talk every day or almost every other day. Um, I've told you things. I, I've, I've shared things with you a, as a friend and I, I do appreciate you and I do love you. Um, all that being said, uh, and Alex would be the first to admit to this to you, what she said yesterday was wrong. I've heard the, the phone calls and I've heard the Facebook messages as well. And, and, and I guess Coming out of this, I want this uh, to be a teachable moment. And that, that lesson here is that words, words matter. There's no doubt about that. Um, changing demographics here in this country, the demographics are changing. We're becoming a more diverse country, and, and there's no excuse. We have to understand uh, the stereotypes. We have to understand uh, each other's backgrounds and the words uh, that hurt, the words that cut deep. And we have to find a way to replace those words with love and words of affirmation um, as well. Um, you know, what we do here as broadcasters, uh, we use words. Words are the, the tools of our trade. Much like a, you know, a plumber would use a wrench or a doctor would use a scalpel, we use words. And, and our goal and what we need to do is use those words not, not to hurt and not to divide, uh, but to build a more perfect union. And uh, this is going to be a journey. For us, we're learning things here, and uh, we at KOCO5 hope that you join us along on this journey. Thank you guys very much.